Put it out the coop in the lot. Put for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a full leg day routine at the gym. And I'm going to be joined by Brother Ferris. I'll leave his channel linked down below. He's an amazing athlete. He has a 40 plus inch vertical, which is crazy. And he's one of the most well-rounded athletes I've ever met in my life. So we're going to be showing you some exercises that you can add to your routine to improve your performance on the soccer field. So let's get started. So the first exercise that we have here is a barbell front squat. And this is an amazing exercise that's going to be targeting the quads, but it's also going to be engaging the core and your glutes. If you see where the bar is resting, it's going to be laying on top of the anterior delts, and then you're going to fold your arms over top to ensure the bar doesn't slip out. In the description, I'm going to leave down below how many reps and sets you should be doing depending on what, you know, if you're in season, if you're preseason, or if you're off season. That's really going to depend on how many reps you do, how many sets you do, and the rest and the intensity. So look down in the description and I'll have everything laid out for you so you know exactly how many reps and sets you should be and the rest time. So always start off with your compound lifts unless you have a power exercise. That's my other point. So the next exercise is going to be a variation to the step up. The only difference is, is that your leg is not going to leave the box and the back leg is going to stay there continuously pushing off the ground and you're going to be focusing on driving and turning your hips. It's really important that all athletes work on that single leg strength because you know and when you're changing direction you're pushing off that one leg so building that single leg strength is essential. The next exercise was supersetted with some lateral sled pulls. So this is a great exercise that requires no weight and just a small step. All you're going to be focusing on is driving your foot and smashing the ground, focusing on that vertical drive because this is what's really important and if you want to sprint faster is that vertical, vertical force. It's not horizontal, it's vertical force. So the harder you can drive through ground and push off from the ground, the better. So this is the lateral sled pull and this is a great exercise because you're pushing off that single leg and that's super important because when you do the scissors to beat a player, you're pushing off that one leg. So if you can drive and push off further or more explosive, you're going to get past that defender and that's going to really help you. Now I'm going to be showing you some leg exercises that I would recommend for you guys to do. The ones that Brother Fair showed us are exceptional and they're going to benefit you so much. They're going to benefit any athlete in reality. So these are some things that I'm going to be adding into my routine personally. So for me, I like to do the trap bar deadlift or the barbell back squat. The reason why I prefer the trap bar deadlift is because with the barbell back squat, you're applying more pressure onto your spine because you're loading so much weight onto your back versus the trap bar deadlift, you're lifting the weight from the floor up. And that is why I've been seeing a lot more strength and conditioning coaches in the Premier League recommend the trap bar deadlift over the back squat. But this is an amazing exercise I recommend all athletes do. The next exercise is a hamstring focus exercise, is a single leg RDL. This is going to work on the stabilizer muscles around the ankle, the knee joint, and it's a great exercise for your hamstring. So you really want to focus on going down slow, feeling that stretch in the hamstring, and exploding back up. The next exercise is going to be a regular step up, and as we saw in Brother Ferris's leg day, is that he did a different variation of this exercise. This is an amazing exercise that's going to be strengthening that single leg and it's going to be focusing on the quads and the glutes. So the thing I really focus on is if you're stepping on either a bench or a box, really focus on really driving your foot into that box or bench and driving your knee up. That's going to really help. Another alternative to this exercise is my, one of my favorite single leg exercises and it's the Bulgarian split squat. And I highly recommend all athletes add this to your team. The next exercise is going to be a BOSU ball or exercise ball hamstring curl. You can do this actually without the ball if you have a towel and some hardwood floor or tile. And this is one of the best hamstring exercises that you can add that doesn't require any weight and it's extremely, extremely effective and I highly recommend all athletes do this if you can't do the Nordic ham curls. The next exercise I recommend is doing a sled push or pull. So right here, I'm going to be showing you a sled push. And this is a great exercise that's going to be developing that power and driving your knee up. And it's 
an absolute killer so if you have this at your gym i highly recommend adding it to the end of your leg day and it will absolutely kill you the last exercise i recommend is almost like a french contrast training method essentially you're going to be doing a box jump but holding dumbbells and after you do a couple reps you're going to drop the dumbbells and do a regular box jump so you're overloading the muscle and then you're going to do the same thing so essentially you should feel lighter and you should be able to generate more power and this is another great training method that i see a lot of you know well advanced athletes add into their training program so this is a great training method if you're an advanced athlete and you're you know you're used to lifting heavy you've done years of weightlifting and resistance training this is a great method of training as well if you guys did like the video please leave a like and if you're not subscribed already please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos I just want to say thank you guys for all the support again and the only thing that I would greatly appreciate is if you watch the entire video or if you leave the video running in the background because my goal is to hit 4,000 watch hours and I'm currently at I'm currently at 2,500 so I'd greatly appreciate it if you you know if you if you're not enjoying the video just let it run through the whole video or if you just watch the whole video please like i'd greatly appreciate it. but if you did like the video please leave a like and i hope to continue to create the best content for you guys and i hope everyone has a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video